Well, Donald Trump has a lot of legal issues, and we have two special guests to break this down. Our legal experts, Melissa Murray and Andrew Weissman. We're going to get into why we're doing something special uh, with both of you. But first, I would just want to give an update on some serious money that Donald Trump is forking over. We've heard a lot about, oh, will he do this? Will he follow that? It's not up to him. He owes a lot of money in that defamation case with Eugene Carroll, and he posted a bond today, which is required to appeal. It's one of Trump's many bills and headaches. We've shown you this rough breakdown where you see the interest of the fraud case on the bottom, the fraud loss, the defamation case, which I just alluded to, and the bond cost for that. Now, he also needs a bond for his half a billion dollar judgment in that fraud case. Trump's lawyers say he might have to sell some of his properties to pay the penalty, which means he is not an Elon Musk level billionaire if he's a billionaire at all. You would not see someone with 100B having to sell anything to post bond. Trump still claims, though, that he's not concerned. How close are you to securing the bond or what you need for that? I have a lot of money. I could do what I want to do. So you're not Never worried? Never used before. You're not worried about the money? I don't worry about, about anything. Miss, I, no, I don't worry about the Miss, money. Uh, we are here with our guest, Professor Murray. He owes this money, and if you talk to people casually about it, they say, oh, nothing works. Is he ever going to be held accountable? Well, in civil cases, money is the only thing you're held accountable for, and it seems that uh, this shows, in this case, in the New York Times, and eventually in the fraud case, uh, when it's due, he has to pay even if he wants to appeal. No, that's a really important point. There's a lot of attention on the four criminal cases. Obviously, we wrote a book about the four criminal cases, but it's worth remembering that these civil cases are also real sources of accountability. He's going to be on the hook for serious financial penalties. He's posted bonds, as you say, and there are real consequences associated with that financial loss, as well as some of the other penalties, including limiting the degree to which he can do business in the state of New York from that case about the overstating of his assets to the New York state regulators. So these are forms of accountability. They're probably not what people are looking for in terms of accountability, but they're real and they have teeth and they stick. Yeah, and this case is about something important, Andrew, which is that E. Jean Carroll decided over the course of her life uh, to try to hold him accountable for what the court deemed was his liability for sexual assault and his lies about it. Uh, this is a civil case. There's no other thing here except for the money. So um, does it matter that he has to post this bond and that if he doesn't win the appeal, he'll be paying her out this much? Well, there, there are two ways in which it matters. One is for the actual plaintiffs, whether it's E. Jean Carroll, who a jury has found was sexually assaulted and defamed repeatedly, and for the state of New York that um, has a judgment that found that there was an, a fraud and, and money that needs to be disgorged by Donald Trump. So that's sort of one level of accountability, and it's one thing that's important that those plaintiffs recover um, what they're owed. And, th and that's been determined by judges and juries. The second is it raises issues about where Donald Trump is getting this money. Hmm. Um, we know from the first bond that was posted today, that's for about 90 million, but there still is um, another segment of about, as pointed out, about 450 million. So it's like one down, but a lot more to go. And the issue is, is he going to be beholden to somebody? We already know that somehow he got a bond from Chubb. Um, and, you know, I'm interested in knowing, did somebody, for instance, have to co-sign? Um, was there somebody there, some individual there who he's um, beholden to? And the same thing with respect you to the You say that the because bond. you don't think his current financial condition would let him just easily get the bond? I don't. Um, and you think for, he's like one of these kids who moves to Manhattan and has his parents co-sign well, uh, the, the apartment? So here's... here's Why are you laughing? Yeah, because you're funny. You're funny. <laughs> you have students <laughs> like that. Well, not at NYU. Um, I, no one's saying that. You do have students like that at NYU who need their parents to get housing is the point I'm no, making. True. I mean, like, no one is saying that Donald Trump is a Trustafarian, but I think do think Andrew raises real concerns. Why not? He got a lot of money from his dad. Well, he did get a lot of money yeah. from his dad. Um, he is, I don't know that no one wait, is saying that. Wait, wait, no, but we have a real point. We have, we have a, a point real here. point here. Like, so... Andrew's making a good point. Um, if he needs to get this money from someone, who the person is, whether he is beholden to them, if it's Chubb, what are the underwriting? What does the underwriting look like? Who is co-signed? What are the guarantors available to that particular entity in order to co-sign this? And again, there's this other $500 million bond that's going to have to come through for the fraud case. Who's going to underwrite that? So do we have someone who is on the ballot to be president who's going to be financially beholden to interests that we, the American public, do not know about? Mm -hmm. 
And so, um, just to be clear, he um, has to, in order to put up and, and get a bond, has to put up unencumbered assets, meaning money and assets that are not already pledged for something else. Now, we know that he has outstanding loans. You get loans by putting up those assets. So to get this $90 million bond from Chubb, the issue is, how did he get that? Is there a person there? What assets are being pledged? I am really interested in the co-signing of a bond because, stay with me, Elon Musk says, I didn't give him any money, but that doesn't mean he didn't sign a bond. Um, right. And so if you're Chubb, you might say, you know what, I'll give this, but I need a guarantor to um, Melissa's point. So there's a lot more. This is like journalistic heaven, which mm. is pushing on Trump to know how to, what are the details here. And the public really does have a reason to know.